Getting rid of prejudice might be tough. Today, we'll try to tackle some of them regarding CNC machines. And you can see whether you have any of them yourself. Later, share your score in the comment section. My name is David, this is Virme. Don't forget to check your channel subscription and let's get started. First myth, all CNC machines are the same. Machines can look similar to someone who is not very familiar with them. For example, the tube, the ignition block and other components might seem the same. But the key differences lie in a design detail. That's what really matters. Some laser machines, for example, don't have gearboxes that divide the step, which is very useful for engraving. Or they might have two-phase stepper motors, while our machine, the Watson, uses three-phase ones that provide a smoother and more precise movement and last longer. There might be a special side opening and protective cover for installing a more powerful laser tube or a through or lifting table with a chain mechanism that allows for the installation of a rotary device. In short, the differences are there and they lie in the details that actually have a significant impact on the final result of the work. Second myth, CO2 laser machines don't need a steady bed. There's a common opinion that a rigid frame is essential for rotors and metal cutting machines, but that a CO2 laser can do without it. Well, if you're okay with defects and inaccuracies, then yes, you could probably get by without a sturdy frame. The frame is mostly required to reduce vibrations during operation. Otherwise, cutting and engraving would be like attempting to draw a straight line with a shaky hand. Sure, on tiny machines with small loads and low speed, even a basic frame might be enough. However, for business and real manufacturing, you want something considerably more reliable. Third myth, a 2-in-1 laser and milli machine performs the same functions as the two separate machines. They have both a CO2 machine and a rotor in one, and you don't. Why should I buy two machines when I can get one? We have encountered this question before, and the answer is pretty straightforward. You can buy a 2-in-1 machine, but those are usually more suited for hobbyists, whereas business typically purchase two separate ones. The reason is that they operate on different principles and very different manufacturing needs. In production, a CO2 machine is responsible for high speed and precision, allowing for non-contact material processing. It's used for materials like paper, fabrics, fur, uh, plastic, leather, rubber and more. On the other hand, a rotor is more powerful and robust, making it suitable for processing wood, uh, soft metals and other hard materials. It does this through physical contact, causing significant vibrations which are not ideal for a laser sword. To make it brief, a rotor machine and a laser machine require different constructive design and components. Motors, uh, bed thickness, gantry structure and so on. So, you can opt for a 2-in-1, but keep in mind that it's not suitable for a serious production. Fourth myth, buying directly from China is more profitable. Let's break down the pros and cons of buying directly versus uh, through a dealer. If you buy directly from China, the main advantage is, of course, a lower price. But what are the downsides? First of all, technical support, because it's usually available in English and sometimes only in Chinese. Due to the time zone difference, support might also be significantly uh, delayed. When buying through an authorized trader, however, you can get support in your native language much faster. The documentation is another consideration to do. It will also be in English or Chinese if purchased directly from the manufacturer. Door-to-door -door delivery, including custom clearance, is not always available. It depends on the manufacturer's term and your country. Plus, all risks and transportation costs fall on the client. In contrast, when buying through dealers, they take on these responsibilities. What other advantages are there when purchasing from a supplier? 
Distributors like CAS in Virmer offer an extended warranty of full two years. You can be sure that spare parts are more readily available since they're stocked locally, not in China, where they would take time to be shipped from. You can also order commissioning services. Virmer has engineers who are ready to visit clients and provide maintenance services. So, we'll conclude with a question. Which is more essential to you? The illusion of saving money or a trustworthy and easily accessible service? This response will help you decide who you should contact. Fifth myth. It's better to get a cheaper machine to start up the business. Buying a cheap machine to start the business can be a risky idea. If the machine breaks down unexpectedly, at the very least, you'll face downtime, and at worst, you could incur significant additional costs, especially if the breakdown is beyond repair. There's a reason why people say you get what you pay for, and there's no such thing as a free lunch. Cheap equipment might serve you for a while, but you cannot build a serious business with it. If you're on a tight budget, it's better to sacrifice the size of the working area and get a smaller machine from a trustworthy brand. This way, you protect yourself from unexpected breakdowns, repairs and equipment downtime. For instance, Watson offers laser machines like the 0503 and 6040 for beginners, and among the routers, the 0609 Mini and the A1313 for larger projects. They provide an excellent foundation for building your business. And if your venture doesn't work out, you can resell such equipment and recover part of your investment, since branded machines always remain in demand, even on the second-hand market. Conclusions. Choosing the right machine requires carefully consideration. This is equipment that should serve you for years, at least this is the idea. So, either you take the time to understand the design and take responsibility for your choice, or you trust the professionals and work confidently with a new reliable machine. So, did you have any of these biases? Did I manage to change your mind? Let me know in the comments and we'll continue the discussion if you disagree with anything. My name is David, this is Virmer. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss our new video. See you next time.